Bingham. Hello, everybody. What's up? Hello. Let me fix this. Bingham. <laughs> What's going on, folks? Welcome back to some live goodness. This pre-can stuff. Tom Vassell pre-recording himself. What a bum. <laughs> My name is Z Garcia. I'm Amanda Davis. We're going to be playing some uh, Glasgow. Yes. A two-player game of resource management and city building. And Euronis Galore. Y'all. Yes. Which uh, is very neat. And, and, it, and you'll see it's it's fairly simple, very quick, but has some neat choices to it. So we're going to go ahead and get going with this one. Yes. Yes. Okay. All right, everybody. Here we go. We're going to sort of play and teach again as we go. So let's select the start player over here. Hello, KK. And everyone else? All right, there you go. Pick a start player. Start player. And then you go there. Yep. All right. So we have got characters in the circle here. All different kinds. They all give us different things. And then there are these architects. You'll see them. Each one of them has two buildings above them. Mm -hmm. So I'm first. This is going to be my board over here. I placed it over here because uh, players should be sitting opposite each other. Okay. So I'm over there. I, and we each begin with one uh, brick, one steel. Is that what they're called? I think so. One stone, one steel, yeah. Well, it's, it's a brick. It's a brick. It's a brick. Yes. I'll put this over here just in case I need it. All right, so on my turn, I'm going to select, grab my uh, little worker here, and I can move as far as I want to, stopping wherever I want, and activating that, that thing, okay? After that's done, then whoever is farthest behind is going to take their next turn. And so if I did do that, then Amanda could go there and take an action, and then go there and take an action, and then go there, take an action, and then it'll be me again. Yep. All right. So what I'm actually doing is stopping on the very first one. I'm going to grab the barrel because the barrel is a wild resource. There's only one, but the barrel is a wild resource. It could be brick or steel or gold. And that's it. Yeah, I knew that's what you were gonna do. Of I'm course, gonna it's go too good. Here, this one is you. The first, the first one that you move to, you don't do anything. But the second time you move, you get it twice. Right. All right. I'm gonna jump up. I'm gonna skip the trade tile. So I'm gonna skip this one that allows for a trade, and I'm gonna go to this one, which gets me gold. I'm gonna grab one gold. Put it right there. These are limitations to how much you can have of these things. All right. Um, I am going to go all the way over here. Whoa. And I get one of anything twice. So I'm yeah. going to take two gold. Okay. Crazy. Wow. Well, there's nothing else that works. The way you set it up. No, I mean, I would have probably done that one, actually, after a doubler. I guess, but me. That's it. Now I'm going to crush it. Uh, I'm going to go here. When you stop at one of the architects, then you may build one of their buildings. And in fact, you could build more than one of their buildings if you pay a gold to build again. Mm -hmm. If you want to build it again after that, that's going to cost you two gold and so on. So you normally build once or twice. Yeah. All right, I am going to build this tile right here, which is a park. There are a few different kinds. We're going to be building in the center a communal city. My tiles will face me. There's a little arrow right there, and yours will face you. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is going to be a 5 by 4 at most, okay? It will be 5 by 4 mm -hmm. And it can be 5 this way or 5 this way, 4 the other way. Just whatever happens first. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that. I'm going to pay for it with one steel. And uh, it doesn't do anything right now. At the end of the game, I am going to score my parks squared. So if I end up with three, it'll be three times three for nine points. Uh, yes, that is correct. Their location doesn't matter. Yeah, no. Then I draw a new one, right? Mm -hmm. Put that there. <clears throat> and I am done. So I'm done with that action, but it's still me, because I'm still behind. So 
I'm going to come to this one here. That one lets me draw a tile, flip it, and I can either build it right now or I take the first resource shown in its cost. This kind of tile here, you benefit from, from building it in the corners of the 5x4. I don't really want to build this right now. No. And it's gold. So I'm going to go ahead and take the gold instead. Discard that. I'm going to go then all the way here. And I will take brick. Okay, I can't build any of those, so I'm going to go over here and grab a stone and a, a metal. Mm -hmm. Iron, steel. Steel, yeah. steel. All right, well, I'm obviously going to grab this one. There's no reason to skip that. And I'm going to grab the other one, too, one right after you. Obviously, we, are, we have to skip each other. Mm -hmm. Can't be on the same tile. Right, right. Okay, I am gonna go. I'm gonna go here. I go here, right? You go to the the first uh, one. Oh, where are you I going? I can't remember. Front or the back. I think it's the front. I think it's the front too. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's the front. Okay. All right. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna play a steel to build this one that faces me. Okay, right. And now that there's one there, it has to be you have to build adjacent to whatever's already there. Then I'm gonna spend a gold and build the other one, which is a park. Build it right there. And now he gets two. Okay, so you built one, then you paid a gold and built the other yep. one. Yep. Alright. That's gonna be me. Okay, a couple new tiles showed up there, some special scoring tiles. Those are both endgame scoring tiles, meaning they'll check for something and give you points based on that. The first one, the one at the top, says uh, three points per remaining gold, and the bottom one, two points per remaining steel. Nice. I like that. Yeah, that's I do like good. that. So I'm going to go there. I'm going to build. Ah, oh, gosh. Yeah, sure. I'll build the top one. I'm going to put that right there. Now, you built here. Um, this one did not trigger, right? When you built no, it? No, because I just yeah. adjusted it, yeah. So, the way the factories work is if I built this now, if anybody builds in the same line or column as a factory, the factories trigger and make whatever they would make for whoever's tile it is. So if I build there, I'm actually giving you a brig. Right. Uh, I will build there instead. And for that gold I have to pay, I'm going to spend the barrel, actually, because we're about to come up to it again, and if I don't spend it and you go there, I lose it. Yes. So I'm doing that. We flip over a new one. This is a factory tile. Very nice. I'm going to spend the gold to build another mm -hmm. tile. And I'm going to build that one for one brick, one steel. I am going to put this one there. Yeah. I am done. It's still me because I'm behind. I'm going to grab that again. And the need to draw a new tile for the guy. Oh, yeah. Yep. Okay, this is, uh, what are these called? Tenements. These are tenements. You're going to score victory points for these if they are adjacent to other tenements. So a large building uh, section uh, or, you know, housing, I should yeah. say. It doesn't matter whose tile is next to yours. If it's tenements, it's plus three points for that. All right. I'm going to go here, and I'm going to spend two bricks to build this. And I'm going to put it right here. So that triggers that, and I get a brick. Yep. And I'm behind you. Yeah, you done? You want to see the other one, or you? Oh yeah, I'm probably done. But yeah, I'm done. Um, <clears throat> let's see. I know you like that doubler. I'm gonna go to the doubler. I am going to grab. What's that? I'm actually going to go all the way here. Whoa. And I'm going to build this one here. So this one is a landmark. 
It has no special abilities. doesn't say a thing. It's just worth a bunch of points. Mm -hmm. It's worth six victory points. Now, a lot of the other ones are worth points. You'll notice one point, one point, one point. Uh, and then, but they'll do something in game. This one does not. I'm going to put it there. I'm going to pay one of each, like so. I'm going to build it right there, which in turn triggers that factory for me, giving me a gold, and I am done. Okay. Hmm. Huh. Yeah, people are saying this is kind of like Gwen Moore. Yeah, yeah this so. is definitely a two-player only version. There is, there is, this is a two-player only game, yes. All right, I went to the coin as the doubler. Now I'm still behind, so I'm going to go here. And I'm going to flip over this. I unfortunately cannot build that, which... Yeah, so you take a steal. Take a steal. And then you do it again. Why? Flip another one because you're doing the times no, two. No, I went here first. Oh, oh. Right. Oh, you got two gold yeah. there? Yeah. Gotcha. Not your turn. Give me the discard. I want to put them over here. Okay. I am going to do... That's a gold. But I, I want to block you from doing it. This is better for you than for me. Mm -hmm. So this tile here, you pick a factory tile and you activate it. And anything, again, in its line and its column. For you, it's pretty good. You'll get both. For me, it's not as good. I'm just going to get the gold. But I don't want you to have it. Yeah. Fine. <laughs> Blockery. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go here and get... Um, I'm going to get a brick. Hmm. Don't want to do that. Don't have anything. I'm going to do that. I'm going to go here. This one lets me discard two tiles from any one of the architects and replenish them. Oh, my. All right. That is the train station? Is that what that's called? So that one is called the uh, train station, yeah, and you get 10 victory points if you own a landmark, a factory, a park, and a tenement. Yes. So if you have a set of those specific symbols, mm -hmm. 10 points. And a single set would suffice if you owned multiple train stations. Which I guess would be quite the combo if you yes, pulled that off. Yes, it would. You get 10 points. Holy poop. Multiple times from multiple train stations. It's never been done, though, in the history of gaming. In the history of this game. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, I'm going to go and get a brick and a steel. All right. So, obviously, all of this setup, I assume you figured that out, but it was random. So, the way these characters end up being set up and the landing really affects kind of like the, the tight spots and the flow around the board. And then there are two that you leave out when you set the game up. And these are double-sided. Uh, what's double-sided? The people? No. No, they're not? I thought no, they were for some reason. Okay. A that's a different game. That is a different game. <laughs> Disregard! <laughs> these, uh, these ended up not being in play, so we are a little bit of a brick deficit, I guess. But sometimes, like, the barrel... We had, we played a game where the barrel yeah. guy was missing. So, that's a whole mechanism in the game that wasn't really coming up. Yeah. You know, that, that that changes the game. That was weird. This one, missing, is a mm -hmm. big change to you know, mechanically to the game or the possibilities. Yep. I guess I'll grab another steal. There's no good reason to skip it. Unfortunately, this is sort of, you know... You don't want to skip a whole lot right here in this piece. Yeah. Oh, man, there's so many good things. Uh, All right. Man. I need to do them both, too. Bow, bow. All 
right, I'm going to go here and grab this tenement. All right. And then I'm going to go here and trigger that stuff. Yep. Yeah. You trigger and the factories. And a brick. Mm hmm. All right, here's a new tile. Okay. I'll go ahead and take care of that right now. And I will go here. Right. So now... That's set. These are the dimensions now. Let's scoot it a little bit. So now we know that this is the grid that's going to fill up four, a five rather, by four. Uh, and that one is the one where you need those specific symbols. Now, again, be careful with the sim symbols. Make sure you, you yeah, get the right ones because there are other, there are there other are building ones, types. Yeah. Yeah. All right, you good? That one is landmark, tenement, park, and factory. And they have their own little symbol here yep. below the cost. Yep. All right, well, um, I guess I'll grab that park. I want the park, unfortunately. Uh, well, I could still do it, but I'm helping you if I do that. Uh, kind of, sort of. Yes. I want to put this park right here. I go there, spend the steel for it. And then I'm going to activate that. Oh, wait. I'm, I'm maxed out on the gold. Oh. Oh, oh it's oh. garbage. <laughs> Oh no. Juno. -ha -ha. <laughs> garbage is garbage, so garbage. Such garbage. <laughs> I'm gonna go right here. Oh wait, no, before I do that, let me see what comes up next. Yeah, okay. Don't want that. Fall down one of them. I wanna go there. I will spend a brick. Build this one. There. Okay. Did I spin that brick? Yes, I did. Okay, I'm good. Go ahead. Okay. And I should be there. All right, then I'm going to go right behind you. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to take that landmark for a brick and a money. I will allow this. Thank you. I appreciate that. Okay, I'm going to go right here. And get another brick. Mm -hmm. And I'm still going because I'm behind you. Well, you could build again also yeah, if I you know. wanted to. Well, you don't have any gold. No, that's true. Okay, so for this, I have the landmark, the factory, the park, and the tenement. So I'm good there. You're good. Okay. Okay. Let's see here. I think I am going to go here and take the barrel. Because I don't think I've ever had the barrel. Like all of the times you play this game. No, you've had the barrel. Well, I never get her because you will. Yeah, it is like Valid. your favorite. That is definitely your favorite spot. I'm going there. Fine. I think I'm going there. <laughs> I am going there, yes. Okay. All right. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay. Are you sure? Yes. Queen's Gambit rule. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to build a shop. Uh. <laughs> and I'm going to put this Dang little... Dang it, I shouldn't have left an available corner. Put this little baby right here. That'll work, yeah? Yeah, that'll that's work. Corner. That'll definitely be a corner. So that's going to be worth five points because it's in a corner. Okay. Let's see what's next. Ooh. You paid for that steel. already, right? Yes. Wait, ooh. Can this be gold? Yeah. So that's a lot of points. That's a lot of points. Um, put that little baby right there. Steel. And get a steel. From here. All right. All right, so let's turn this Man, over. killer. I'm getting moitered. Moitered? You good? Yep, yep, yep. Oh, Christ, what a waste. 
can get too close. No, you can't. We can go here. There's one. I want that go. <laughs> I'm gonna go. This is oh, this sucks. Um, I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna trade the top. This is a a trade I can make. I can make as many as I want, except for the top one I can do once. Yeah. But since I went on this tile, I'm about to make the worst use of that doubler ever seen in this game. I'm gonna spend two gold for two steel. <laughs> this is the top trade. <laughs> this is really dumb. Oh man. Terrible. And then I'm gonna go here and get one of those back, okay? Because I do score for them, right? Which uh, which scoring did I pick? Yeah. Oh, I have both. I have the break and the other one. Then I'm gonna go here, and I'm just gonna keep doubling down on the parks. All right. Grab that park. I want to put it somewhere that isn't gonna help you, but I think I will a little bit because I want to put it there. That'll get you a break and me a gold. All right. Put out a new tile. Ooh. Ooh. That's all three of my gold, but it might be worth it. Might be it. worth it. That's pretty yeah. good. So it's one gold to purchase again or build again. The tile costs two gold. It is worth six victory points. I'm going to put it here. That's going to give me a gold, you a steal. Sweet. And again, now, assuming if I wanted to build again, now it would be two gold to build again. I'm obviously not going to do that. Back to me. I'm going to go... This is almost over, actually. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go here. Activate this guy. Mm -hmm. Get another gold. Okay. Yeah, it's uh, a lot going on, as you can see. All right. Um, so end game trigger is um, 20 buildings when this is full. So one set of stuff can work for two train stations right yeah. yeah okay you're never gonna make it there i'm gonna buy that with what you'll see that's nothing are you, you gonna done? clear them out yep that's right double hate i already hate it one time i'm about to hate again Come these on. are gone be another one in this deck please dang it now, what do I want? I don't want any of that garbage. Uh, I don't want any of those. Tenements don't help me. No, I don't want that. The tenement will help you, though. Yeah. I guess I might as well. I'll go there. All right. Okay. Yeah, there are a lot of games that do this whole um, time track, I guess is what I call it, where whoever's farther behind is always the next player. You guys are saying Glenn Moore a lot in the comments there. Absolutely, that's one of them. But uh, this is a good, neat pseudo filler one because it's not really a filler it just has like filler time length Oops. but there's a lot going on oh man wish that was steel dang it yes the cost yes don't have any more brick why don't you jump to here and trade some because then he'll probably not be around <laughs> or something will happen the table will explode <laughs> or <laughs> Something will happen. Okay. Evilness will happen. That's correct. I'm going to go here. No, don't Jeez. do that. Don't go there. Fine, I'll go there. And I'll grab steel. And then I'm going to go... It's not worth it. I'll go there. Pay the steel. And build this guy. 
I'm going to put it there, which is going to trigger that gold. Put out a new one. Ooh, a park. Ooh, yes. That makes my parks huge. Yeah. I have to do it. Gold. Steel. I want to put it... What are the odds? You find yourself a corner one. Here, it helps you anyway, though. I'm going there. All right. Nothing gets triggered. No factories. No factories. This goes there. And I'm done. Okay. Well, I can't build that tenement because I only have one brick. So you guys are talking about the bowls, I'm guessing. It looks like it. Somebody's saying they use petri dishes. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, these are bowls. Um, there, it says who who makes them. Yeah, I think they're actually out of business. I don't think they, they they're made anymore. But they're called board game bowls from a place called boardgamebowls.com. But I think that place is gone. Yeah. Uh, they're lovely though. Yeah, but again, this is something that's easily available. You can you can get something that works. You can get like something it. on it. I mean, on Etsy, I'm sure. But you can go the gamut of like you can go really fancy, really mm -hmm. expensive, right? We we won these and uh, got raffle, but anyway, um, or you could just grab like you said petri dishes, or just go to like a dollar store and get a little muffin cup, yeah, cups or whatever. Um, IKEA, you can get the little bowls. I mean, there's you can get um, uh, votive holders work really well, and they come in like packs of four or five, and yeah. they're super cheap, and they look great, and they're glass. It's yeah. You can find anything. It's I know awesome. BGG has those that you can kind of, uh, you know, it's a flat square and you can pinch the corners mm -hmm. and it becomes a little bowl. Man. I don't know what to do. You're passing? Sweet. No. I just said I didn't know what to do. I didn't oh, say okay. I was passing. Got it. Got it. Well, that steel is going to obviously get taken. Yeah, but. Right? What's the point? Uh -huh. Having more steel. Ruling Roar! the industry. Roar, steel. Okay, I'm going to go here, get a steel. Fine. That was a bad move. Chop. And then... <laughs> um, now you're in trouble. That was a mistake you were you didn't expect. Queen's Gambit. <laughs> we clearly saw that show and now we say it about everything. Yes. Um, man, I need one more freaking brick. Dang it! I got a brick. I'll sell it to you cheap. For how much? The Your game? gold. No. There's no trading in this game. There's no trading in baseball? baseball or Glasgow. Okay. There's no trading in Glasgow. <laughs> you grab the barrel? Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go here, mm -hmm. grab a gold, which is worth some points to me. Right. All right, what do you got? All right. I think the best thing for me to do would be... You know what might be a good idea, actually? This, this is a weird thing, but you could do... Well, I'm behind you after that, though, so no, that What were you going to say? Well, I was going to say, like, times two, and then jump to the sky, yeah. you can clear. And if you don't like it, you can clear again, yeah. but then I'm behind you, Yeah, so. yeah, and that doesn't really help. That's a neat combination. That, that would be cool. That hasn't really happened no. before. I think, um... I'm going to go here. I'm going to try it, see what happens. Okay, grab one. Whatever you want, even the blurry one. Oh. That's two points per... Per factory. Ooh, that's really good. That's really good. That is really good. <laughs> oh, you stinker. 
That is game, everybody. And now we're going to score. I'm going to grab my phone because I do what I want. Grab my phone. Okay. Calculator. All right, so first, um, I think they'll tell you here kind of like the order to do this, maybe. The only thing I would say this game is missing would be a little a little okay. score pad might have been nice. Might have been nice. Yes. Anyway, so we're scoring. So printed VPs. So like on the corner. Like the corner, right? So that includes the special ones. We'll just do those now. The big, the big uh, landmarks. And again, we only score whatever's facing us in this case. How's that possible? Good night. Yep. Okay. What do you got? Um, Seven. Twenty-five. Twenty-five, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I can't like this one. Are we not doing that one yet? Oh, okay. That's fine. As long as you remember you yeah. did. Yeah. Okay, twenty-five. And I have thirteen. I just counted them. Okay. Then we're going to count the shops, which are the corner things. So, five. so this is five. Another five for you. Parks. That's all you. Uh, you have one. It's one times one would be one, one point. point. So for me, it's four times four, so it makes them 16, yeah. and they, they break it down for you anyway. Uh, but yes, yeah, 16. I do have four, right? Yes. All right, 16. Then we're going to do the train stations you already did. Yes. Tenements. I have one, two. No, that's not one. Yeah, one, two, yeah, I only have two. All right, so it's plus three VP for each time that is orthogonally adjacent to this one. So you're going to get three points for this one, three points for this one. So six. They score each other. Okay. Another six for that. Landmarks we already did. And then banks are these endgame scoring fancy things like this one right. for you. So I get four. I only have two factories. You have right? two factories. You get another four points. Now I have this guy right here. I'm going to score one brick on him, so it's just one. And I have this guy right here. I have three gold times three, so that's another nine. And I have this one, which is another two. Yes, that's it. What do you got? Um, that's a problem, because we have the same score. We both have 41. <laughs> this game is always very tight by yeah. the way okay in case of a tie the player ending the game loses it doesn't say that it does say that what if you triggered the end game because you figured you were ahead then you lose <laughs> okay I um, love it Mandela Fernandez Grandon I don't agree with you it makes sense. You are you you're triggering the end game because you figure I'm ahead. I'm triggering the end game. If you're not correct in that assumption, you lose. But that's not fair because I just happened to get one that worked. I'm gonna tell you what's fair. Coming out of this game is what's fair. Hi, hi. <laughs> there we go, everybody. Dang it. We tied at 41. Yeah. I won the tiebreaker. Uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's the time. It's the only tiebreaker, too, because it makes sense. You wouldn't need yeah. another one. I figured it might be resources first, but it's it's not. No, that's interesting. <laughs> All right, there we go, boo. everybody. That boo, is miss, boo. that is it. Um, <laughs> I hope you you enjoyed it. We we like this game yeah. quite a bit. It's a great little game. It feels crunchy for how short it is. It gives you a lot of choices for how simple it is. It just works really well.